Good morning. Um, I'm going to quickly just uh, share about the actual work that was done in uh, Louisiana. Um, in the past, if you've been here or have seen our blog, you've noticed that we usually work on one site, the whole group, in unity. Um, the Lord had different plans this year, using uh, Reach Global uh, and us. Uh, we were able to um, work at three different sites. Uh, the team was split into three, basically. Um, one site was the Shipley's house. Um, another site was uh, Sarah and Josh's home. And the third site was Miss Susan's home. Uh, so that's the Shipley's house, and at the Shipley's house we installed a what they call a galvanum uh, roof. It's a galvanized aluminum roof. Uh, part of that was um, getting to know um, Jeff, the, who is the father of the homeowner's family, and. Um, we were able to bond together, and uh, he used to ride BMX back. I mean, he was actually a pretty famous BMX rider in his region, and um, I used to ride BMX, and that was kind of our bond that we shared together. And uh, he started emailing me videos of him when he was young, and uh, we were able to uh, just get a closer relationship just through that BMX relationship. Um, the other site was uh, Josh and Sarah's house. Um, we were removing tile and installing hardwood floors. That's a picture of Nate using the, the jackhammer or chisel. And then um, they were able to lay floor down. And that's sort of the finished product there. I mean, you'll see uh, more pictures during the, the slideshow, but you'll see how they were living with basically butcher paper on the floor for over a year, I believe. And that's the, the team putting uh, the last piece of, of wood in to finish the, 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 the project. Um, and then we go to uh, Miss Susan's house. They were uh, removing tile. They're doing a mold mitigation by cleaning her brick walls and painting and installing some ceiling fans. That's Miss Susan's house right there. Um, the Lord ordained the right team for each job site, including one core leader matched with uh, one habitat site supervisor. This was especially true for Miss Susan's house. Um, where we paired the most touchy-feely members of our team <laughs> to love on her. Who would have thought that Peter would be one of the chosen ones? <laughs> but he did play a big part in, 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 uh, in listening to Miss Susan and, and, and just uh, building that relationship with her. Miss um, Susan was uh, been through a lot, and uh, we were worried from the start that the team might show up and be kicked out at any time. But by being faithful and humble, the team listened and prayed for each other each day. By the end of the week, they were able to witness the Holy Spirit open Miss Susan's heart. And it shows in the pictures because um, she was uh, afraid to go out in public. And uh, I feel like, you know, the real work, other than just being there and building and helping to make their homes better was building relationships with the homeowners and being able to listen and to be able to pray for them. And I just encourage all of you that are on the fence, that have thought about joining the team or being on a trip like this, that you know God knows who you know God knows that um, there's all kinds of jobs and He's given you all kinds of gifts to um, to. Uh, bring to the table. It may be with uh, craftsmanship, it may be with relationship, um, but uh, I just leave um, with uh, one uh, verse. Uh, 1 Peter 4, 8-10. through 10. Above all, love each other deeply, because love covers over multitudes of sin. 
Offer hospitality to one another without grumbling. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. Thank you.